Hi everybody, Jim with Tracker Treasure Hunters here. Uh, I work down in Essex, Maryland. So uh, I had a, I got a couple hours this afternoon and I, I, I get off at 2.30. So I looked at the school here. So that's a, that's a middle school. I thought it was a high school, but it says middle school. Anyway, um, I looked it up on Google or aerial, historic aerials and it was here in 1952. So and people down where I work with the old timer said it was here before that. So I, got, I was just here and I dug a, a penny and a dime spill and I, I got this thing and I swear I'm pretty sure that's silver. I don't know what it is, but it's cleaning up just like silver would and it's got the weight for, you know, silver. So uh, I clean up a little better when I get it home. It's a cover or something. It was down in there. I mean, it was down in the hole. It was probably about eight inches down there. Give her a pretty good signal on the T2 and uh. I don't know. Pretty cool cleaning up cover or maybe a... I don't know what that is. Pretty intricate though. It's pretty cool. Oh, thanks for watching. I'll dig something up here and I'll show you. Hey everybody. I'm back and you can see that hole. I mean, I'm... I'm way past the... <laughs> I mean, it was just saying 11 inches on the T2. And uh, I finally got it out. and it, I thought it was a coin, but it says on there, If you need me, whistle. Uh, how old is it? I have no clue. But um, it was down in the hole. Barely heard it on the T2, but it's pretty repeatable. Gave good numbers, and after I pulled the plug and I checked it again, it was giving real good numbers. So uh, I guess it's copper. I don't know. Need me whistle. I can't see anything on the back. It's got a little hole on it. So that's a cool find, I guess. We'll look that up and see what it is. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Hey, guys. Jim with Tracker Treasure Hunters here. I think you can probably hear the excitement in my voice. I Man, I tell you, I am, I'm just a lucky metal detector. I love this hobby. I just got into it this year. This is a new place, like less than a mile from where I work. I dug some clad. It's everywhere, and I got a signal. Can you see that down in the hole? And it's a Merc, man. I can't believe it. I could have I swore it was going to be a, 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 shit, a penny or something. And here I got me a Merc. All right, man. I can't believe it's crap. I never dreamed I'd have come up here and done this, but man, nobody must be hitting this. Looks like uh, 20, 1920. Man, check it out, man. I'm good. I'm burnt. There's a mint mark on there. Uh, I don't see one, but man, that is so awesome, man. A Mercury Dime up here. I'm, I'm, I'm underneath the shade tree right here because um, it's just pretty warm and it's shady. And I got me a Merc, man. Oh, this is so awesome. This is worth the trip up here, right here. Thank you. Another Merc, man. All right. Thanks for watching Jim with Tracker Treasure Hunters. I'm gonna be here for a little while. All right, see you later. Hello, everybody. Jim with Tracker Treasure Hunters. I uh, managed to find another site close to where I work, down around Essex. Um, turned out to be a pretty good place. I was only there about an hour and a half, and uh, this isn't. I mean, most of this clad and stuff I did find there. But uh, let's go through this. I found a old car, like 2000, well, not that old. Um, most of these quarters I did find there. There's a hunk of lead there. Most of these clad quarters I did find there. There's a couple that I found that were in my pouch, but most of them I did find there. It's an old middle school. A historic aerial shows it was there in 52, so I decided to give it a try. There's some uh, zinc pennies. There's some copper pennies. Nine of them. Um, all these dimes. Down there. Just a little token. Uh, fun dime token. Uh, that was pretty cool. Um, Bunch of nickels. There's so many nickels there. I actually, believe it or not, don't get mad. I stopped digging them. I mean, they were literally everywhere. So I know I'm gonna go back. So I'm gonna dig all the nickels out of there. But the digging there is unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. It was just uh, the ground was moist, even though it's been dry. It's just a low-lying school, and it's um, I got a lot of area to cover. And for the cool finds, this is what I found. This is the first thing I dug. And I'm I got it's, I'm pretty sure it's silver. It's real intricate looking. Looks like it might be a maybe a lighter cover. 
Um, there's no markings of it being silver, but you know when it comes out of the ground looking like that, and you clean it up, I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty sure it's silver. I don't know how to test it, but if anybody knows what this is, I think it's a lighter cover or something. But uh, it could be something else. It was deep. You know, I, I put it in the video. It was pretty deep, but it's really cool looking. And then I found this Merc Dime, second find. Uh, 1920 and I thought I uh, you know that was just amazing to me I couldn't believe went right there from work and boom got me in Merc Dime it's my fifth Mercury Dime silver number let's see silver number 22 yeah five Mercs and uh, five War Nickels and eight Roosevelt so yeah silver number 22 with this uh with this Merc here so that's pretty cool and then uh, this thing was like so deep one of those real iffy signals but it kept repeating and give me good numbers and it says right on it if you need me whistle and uh, I looked it up on uh, eBay had one on there on a chain it was silver though and, uh, this is definitely not silver but um it was deep I mean it was at least 10 inches in the ground T2 really, I mean, it was faint, but it was repeatable, so I dug it, and I got to start digging more of those faint signals that are repeatable, but I um, thought that was pretty cool. So this school has potential. Can't wait to get back there. I've got a couple new places. One place uh, I haven't even tried yet, the old swimming pool that I got permission up in Pennsylvania, but um, yeah, um, awesome. So, uh Thanks for watching. Check your hole and uh, stay cool. Dig some holes and I'll be watching your video. See ya.